Okay, hello and welcome, Chris here, and I just want to give you a quick introductory video to the Facebook Gold Digger software to explain exactly how it works and how you can use it immediately to start launching successful Facebook campaigns. So let's start from the top and let's understand exactly how Facebook ads work. Well, Facebook um, advertising is really all about interest. It's about advertising and targeting people who've liked particular fan pages on Facebook. So the idea is if we advertise to people with an interest, let's say Coca-Cola, then that means that they've liked the fan page for that particular product for Coca-Cola, which is this one here. Now, Facebook also includes um, people who've commented um, about Coca-Cola on other pages, but predominantly, if we target a particular interest, it's because people have liked a particular fan page. So, we're basically, with Facebook ads, going to be targeting people who've liked fan pages. So you can imagine the fan pages that we choose is very, very important. Um, and in fact, it can be the difference between a successful campaign and a failing campaign. But the problem is, it's not always obvious what a fan page is really about or what the fans of that fan page actually want. And this is especially true if we're new to the niche or to the market. And the problem there is it's not always clear whether a particular fan page will be a good fit for our offer or our ad until we've actually gone live. And of course, at that point, we've already spent our money to test and to find out, which isn't ideal. However, if we can understand the fan pages better, then we can predict the best interest to run our Facebook ads on before we actually spend any money. So rather than advertising to do our research and spending money to get data, what we can do is we can do research before we actually run our ad and spend any money, understand the market, tweak our ads and potentially even our, our product or our offer to fit that market, and then we advertise. It's a much more efficient, much more cost-effective way of doing business with Facebook ads. Also with Gold Digger, we can brainstorm ideas for new interest to target. So essentially, we can um, analyze different fan pages and see what the people on those fan pages are talking about and use those words, those ideas, um, as additional um, concepts and additional interests that we can then target and, and review and constantly look at. So it essentially lets us expand on the potential traffic that we can get, which of course increases the potential uh, money that we can make. Um, we can also use the most commonly used words to tell us what kind of product to sell. And I'm about to show you um, an example of this. So by analyzing a particular fan page, we can actually get a sense for what the market wants and then create a product and create a campaign to fit with what the market, with what particular fan page already wants. We can also use the most commonly used words to tell us which words to put into our ad copy. So if everyone on a fan page is obsessed and constantly talking about a particular phrase or a particular person or a particular brand, we can take some of those elements, some of those words, put them into our ad and get a much, much higher click-through rate, which means cheaper clicks um, and a better ROI for our Facebook ad campaigns. And then finally, what we can do with Gold Digger is we can compare how, how many times particular people on a fan page, how many times those fans like, share, and get engaged with posts. And that's important because uh, people who do that are likely to do it with our own ads and our own posts. And that means that we're going to get free viral traffic um, on Facebook, which of course is very, very cool. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say, for example, that we want to advertise a t-shirt targeting the Miami Heat basketball team. So essentially, we want to find people who like the Miami Heat um, and, of course, like fan pages that uh, relate to, to the Miami Heat, basically. So if I just go over to Facebook and do a quick search and just type in Miami Heat, then it'll bring up a list of possible pages we can target. I can also refine that slightly pages called Miami Heat or I can go over to the um, Facebook ads manager and type in Miami Heat here and I can basically generate a list of potential pages um, and interests uh, that we can target basically um, and so you know, doing this for a few seconds brings up an obvious list of a handful of um, of different fan pages that we can target. So then what we do is we go over to Gold Digger and we essentially enter that list of fan pages over here in the page names box um, and it brings up uh, basically results that look like this. We can expand on and try and understand a particular uh, page better. Um, but in particular, what we can do is we can run a search on all of those pages and get data 
on exactly what's going on and try and understand that data in order to improve our advertising campaign. And that's very, very powerful. In particular, the first question if we want to sell a t-shirt is what kind of t-shirt do we want to sell? What words do we put in the t-shirt? What slogans do we use? Well, if we go over to our, um, our results and we can actually look at all of these pages and you'll see that some of the most commonly used phrases um, are words such as three Pete, uh, Pete, LeBron, Heat, um, and you know we can expand these and get lots of different um, variations basically. Um, but the basic idea is that we can see that um, Pete and three Pete is the, the word that is being used by far the most on these particular pages. And the reason that's important is if we know that people are talking about uh, Pete and three Pete, then what we can do is we can you know feed that into our advertising campaigns, into our ad. And of course, in the case of this particular example, we can put that onto our T-shirt. So by looking at what people are talking about, this phrase three Pete, we can come up with um, a T-shirt slogan such as keep calm and three Pete, for example. And there's lots of variations. I just you know quickly came up with an idea here. And in case you're wondering, by the way, the reason that um, this phrase is popular at the moment is the Miami Heat are um, currently playing, or they're about to start playing in the NBA Finals. Um, and if they win, then it's going to be their third title and their, their three-peat, basically. So that's why this phrase is so hot right now. But essentially what it means is if, you know, literally 7% of all the words that are being used on, on this page, which has got 14 million people, um, it basically means that, uh, you know, they're talking about it a huge amount. So if we come out with an ad or a product or a t-shirt or anything that relates to this particular phrase, um, it's just going to really, really take off basically. So from looking at uh, the keywords that are used on the comments on the page, we can very quickly get a sense for what people are talking about the most. Um, and we can use that to customize our ads and our product. But then the next question is which page should we target? Which interest should we target? Well, what we can do is we can take some of the words that describe our product. So at this point, um, I've already obviously done this research previously, and um, I've come up with a list of words that I think describe um, uh, the kind of product that we would want to sell. So I'm thinking of including a slogan which has either got the word 3 Pete or Pete in it. Um, I've included let's because um, it seems to appear quite a bit on pages that um, for, for like uh, team pages and it's kind of like an inclusive thing you know getting behind your team um, shoes shirt jersey tee sneakers I've included these because they're basically uh, fashion products and clothes and anyone who's talking about these is probably going to want to buy a t-shirt and I've included the word king um, because um, you know LeBron James who's a big player for the Miami Heat his nickname is king so I just kind of wanted to throw that in there and see exactly um, whether that was being talked about a lot um, and essentially what the tool does is it will go through all of these pages and it will look at all the posts and all the comments and see how many times those words are used on the page um, and then what we can do is we can then look at those percentages which you can see on the far right here and based on what we see for those percentages we can decide whether um, that particular fan page or interest is going to be a good fit for our product so just to recap we describe the kind of product that we're selling up here and then we look to see how many times those words that describe the product are mentioned on that page and it gives us a very cool idea of whether that particular fan page is going to be um, a good fit for us to target our ad and our campaign to. So just some scanning down here and let me just actually scroll up here and arrange by um, our custom keywords. And you can see that the Miami Heat page has got by far the highest percentage. So, I mean, if you look at some of these other percentages, um, you know, 1.6, 1.9, um, it's just this is what everyone's talking about on this page. And this, like, this number is huge. It's rare that you see a number this big. Um, but it just goes to show how... Um, how engaged and how excited uh, these particular people are. So from scanning through this, we can see that we don't really want to advertise to the fan pages that relate to King James or LeBron James or his sneaker brand or any of that kind of stuff um, because the percentages aren't particularly high. We want to focus on the Miami Heat uh, related fan page. And if we scroll down, you'll see that, um, you know, again, the Miami Heat page uh, there is, is pretty, you know, pretty high as well. So essentially, um, we've kind of done our research at this, at this point in terms of which pages do we target. 
um, we, we've looked at the pages in question and we've worked out exactly uh, which ones are going to we, we're going to target um, and we've got a good sense that the Miami Heat page and the pages that relate to that are going to be the best. The pages that relate to LeBron James and those kind of interests probably aren't going to be as good because the percentages, percentages aren't as high. And again, this is a very hot phrase. You can see there's um, over 1,100 people in, uh, you know, in the last, I think this goes back 25 uh, posts. So, you know, in the last few hundred comments, there's like, you know, over a thousand people who've used the phrase Pete or three Pete. So this is, you know, absolutely red hot right now. Um, and the reason it's so hot is because, as I've mentioned, the Miami Heat have just won their conference and they're about to play in the NBA Finals. And you'll see this with pages as well is, uh, you know, one moment like a particular phrase or a, a word or a person or a character in a, in a film or something will be really really hot and then the next month it will be something else it's it's very very trend based and that's what makes facebook gold digger such a, a very powerful um, piece of software to put your your finger on the pulse of the market the other thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to look at the actual engagement levels of a particular page. So if we go over here, you can see that uh, I know I've not sort of gone through the columns completely yet, um, but you can see that we've got the number of likes the page has, the number of people talking about it, um, the level of engagement, the number of shares, uh, the potential buyers on the page, um, whether people are using positive comments or negative comments. Um, and in particular, what we want to look for in terms of getting free traffic from the page is how many people are talking about it, um, how many people are engaged by it, and how many people will share posts from that page. And that's particularly important because, um, you know, we want a page where people, are, we're going to advertise to those people and they're going to tag their friends in, in the, you know, in the comments on our post. They're going to share it and they're basically going to give us free traffic. So the, the higher this number is, the higher the share number is, um, the better that we're going to do when it comes to advertising. And again, if I click over to uh, sharing you'll see that um, the Miami Heat page is also highest in terms of sharing, which is um, very, very cool. So essentially, um, that's another reason that we want to target this particular page. Um, and the reason for that is, again, because they've just won their conference final and about to play in the NBA finals. And so all of their fans are very proud. They're proud to share pictures of their team winning. They're proud to uh, tag their friends and show off how successful their team is. And it works to our advantage because if people are proud and want to share that, then if we can fit our ad around that, then they're going to want to share our ad, which again gives us free traffic. So that was a quick overview to, um, you know, one of the many, many ways that you can use Gold Digger to um, get an understanding of the market and use that to refine your ad, refine your product and improve the kind of ROI and, and money that you can make with Facebook ads. Um, so to just just to kind of summarize in the, you know, the space of a few minutes, what I've actually done there is we've not only brainstormed um, an ad or a campaign. Um, but we've actually brainstormed an entire product. We came up with a slogan um, for a t-shirt. We found a fan page that was going to work particularly well for it. Um, and we've probably got ideas there as well that relates to sort of the three-peat term um, of the kind of ad that we want to do. So essentially we've, we've brainstormed an entirely uh, an entire complete successful campaign um, using Gold Digger and of course this is just one fan page at one time you know there's an infinite number of variations and so what I'll do in the future videos is I'll sort of delve into this um, and, and give you some other ideas of how you can use Gold Digger uh, to really dominate Facebook ads but hopefully this video has been useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one